Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Maximum Questions and today I'm going to have a look at how we do some captions on an audio track so we can have the captions sent to YouTube. And one of the reasons that we might want to do this is because if you have the captions in your audio track you've got text in there that can be found and it'll help the searching of your videos so people will find the stuff and you'll have more views and if you're monetizing your videos then you'll make more money as well. So let's go to our view menu and click on show captions and you see that's a caption there already and also what I want to do is to go to show caption track. So there's our caption track shown. Now what it does is to split it up into sections so we've got a section here from 21 and a half seconds through to 24 and a half seconds and that bit there is what we're going to uh, put into this section here. So what we do is we click on that there. Now I'm going to be using drag and dictate to do this, but you can just type this into this uh, thing here, or you can paste the text in if you want to. In fact, what I need to do is first of all is I need to listen to hear what is actually being said in that part. So, but now what you can do is you can go to any of the sides. But now what you can do is to go to any of the sides. Scratch word. Sides. So now I've got a caption track in there. But now what you can do is you can go to any of the sides and start changing the size. OK, now if you look at this one here, we can see that it's actually going to be too long because this is where the audio stops and this is where the caption track stops. So what I'm going to do is to hold down the command key and press on the down arrow a few times. And that brings it in and it puts it in this position here, which will be just perfect. So now I'm going to do is I listen to the next section and then I'm going to put it in there as a caption. Any of the sides and start changing these. Go to any of the sides and start changing these. And what I'm going to do as well is command key, bring that back a bit there and it's just the right length. What I can do is to press the up arrow and hold down the command key and it'll extend it outwards. So you can do it whichever way over that there. It's not possible to get a mouse on these sections here and move them. And it's not possible to take one of these here and change it and put it somewhere else. So also what you might want to do is if it's a long piece of text that's not going to fit in across the screen. So what you might want to do there is just do a second line. So let's click on that X button there to get that out of the way. And as you can see I've got my second line in there now so it fits in on the screen. That will work fairly quickly uh, for getting your captions into YouTube. When you've got it all done I did a double tap on my trackpad and we go to export to SRT. When I export out the video, what I can do is to add the video out with that captions track included. So that's two ways of getting the caption track out with the video and also you can get the caption track out as an SRT file. And that SRT file you can actually import into YouTube. Let's go to YouTube now and see what we've got to do with it once we've got it there. Let's go to the video. So if I go to the video manager and the one I'm working on is this one here. Click on that there, click on captions. So it says here upload caption file or transcript. So I can click on that, so I can choose the Finder Windows Captions SRT, click on open, and we'll give it a track name. So I'm going to call this ScreenFlow Caps, just so I know where it's come from. So let's just click on upload now to get this. And you want to go for the caption file which includes the time codes because it does include the time codes in the actual track there. So let's click on upload. Let's just click on this here and you see there's the bit that I just did there. So all of the timings are there for when the start of that bit is uh, going to show. If I go to the machine transcript instead, you can see how useless this is. So let's click on the play button. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Macton of Questions and today I want to have a look at some tricks that you can do with a finder. As you can see what it's doing there as it's going through there, it's uh, highlighting this bit here. So it's this is the bit that's been done at the moment and if I go to this one here if I move the track back a wee bit there so it's supposed to be saying hello there this is Dave Allen and so on but that's not working hello there this is David Allen and today we're going to look at moving finder windows so if I wanted to what I could actually do is do it through this uh, YouTube window and I don't have to have screen flow at all but it does work pretty well doing it within screen flow so you've got two ways of getting captions into your YouTube videos now. You can do it through this YouTube thing here where you go and sort out your captions, grab all the machine transcript and then change it. 
or you can go it through it go to it through the uh, ScreenFlow and upload a file. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.